I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on amines. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of Orgo Man Books and the Death Destroyer. What I'd like to go over with you is a reaction known as a Hoffman elimination with amines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an amine and I'm going to methylate it and then I'm going to treat it with various reagents and then heat it and get the less substituted alkene from the procedure. So before we do anything, we want to make sure what we're trying to do is we want to form the less substituted alkene by methylating exhaustively an amine. So come around and let's have a look. What I'm going to do in this problem is to take a chemical called N-methylpyrrolidine and I'm going to treat it with methyl iodide. And all you'll simply do is in SN2, these electrons attack the methyl, moves it out, and it gives me my ammonium iodide. Notice the um, ammonium iodide salt here. We have a plus on the nitrogen and a minus on the iodine. Then I'm gonna treat it with Ag2O in water. What that's gonna do, it's gonna, the silver is gonna remove the iodine to give you AGI, and that's a precipitate which drives the reaction forward. And all you'll do is just swap the I minus for an OH minus, which came from the water. Now, the, this here is a quaternary ammonium hydroxide. And what I'm gonna do is heat it. Now, here's the trick. Whenever you heat these ammonium, quaternary ammonium hydroxides, we're gonna remove an H off the beta carbon. That's the trick, the beta carbon. Beta is your boy. Now, nitrogen is here. The carbon next to the nitrogen is alpha. So this is an alpha, this is an alpha, this is an alpha, and this is an alpha. There's the beta up here or up here. Since it's symmetrical, it doesn't matter. So that means that that's the H that I'm gonna remove. When I remove that H, that's the side that I go to, I break this bond and put in a double bond. So when I break this bond, let's just get rid of the OH, that's just a spectator. I break this bond, put in my two dots, and put in my double bond, and that would give me this. So let me just restore this back for a second. So as you can see, what I did here is I broke this bond and put in a double bond, and I got this alkene. Let's try another one. What I'm gonna do in example number two is I'm gonna methylate it again. You do an SN2 and there is your quaternary amine um, or your ammonium salt. Once I have this, I'm gonna then treat it with Ag2O in water and that's gonna just swap the I minus for the OH. All right, now the grand finale, we heat it. This is the alpha, 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 beta. The beta is right here. So what I'm gonna do is there's the H that I'm gonna be removing off. So I'm gonna remove this H and break this bond. If I break this bond, let's get rid of the OH. That's again, that's a spectator. So you're left with the free amine. And if you put the double bond here, you get the less substituted alkene. Come on to the other board and let's do a real good challenge problem that I think you'll enjoy. I'm gonna take a compound known as N-methylpiperidine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two compounds out of it. This is a hard problem and it's gonna challenge the best of students. But as you can see, the synthetic methodology that I think I'm gonna employ is I have to open up this ring. I've gotta somehow break this ring. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna methylate it first. Once I methylate it, as we did before, I treat it with Ag2O in water, and that gives me my quaternary ammonium hydroxide. Now the grand finale. I heat it, if you remembered, alpha beta, you take off the H from the beta, break the bond, and you get the less substituted alkene. Now let's methylate it once again. When I methylate it once again, we get the ammonium salt. Again, we're gonna hit it with Ag2O, and that replaces the I with an OH minus. And then over here, as you can see the beta, we pull off the H, break off the amine, and we get the diene. Then I'm gonna treat it with two moles of BH3, THF, 
peroxide base. If you remember, that's an anti macabre addition, and that puts the two H's on an anti macabre That would be product one, and then all I need to do to finish the job is to oxidize it either with a Swarin oxidation or, in this case, PCC and methylene chloride, and that'll do the trick. This is a really good problem to put in your toolkit. Hopefully, it'll give you some good insight on the way we can make something such as this or something like this. This is the way this, these compounds are created synthetically. Okay, I hope that helps and gives you a good idea on where to go on the Hoffman elimination of the amines. Good day to you.